Master Ken here with another episode of Master Ken's Privates back in the dojo, this time with Nelita, who was the star of one of our most hated videos due to her faulty techniques. Welcome back. Finally got it right. It is your sensei, Bay Nelita B, and I'm here to teach an old master some new tricks. And what we're gonna do today is have Nelita go through a series of Filipino martial arts techniques, also known as bullshit martial arts techniques, and then I will deconstruct each lesson and give you the Ameridote way. All right, let's see him act a fool. A fool fighter. As you are. As in I fight fools, not I'm not the fool. I'm, I, fools come up to me. Sound a little confused on that one. And I'm bit. like, what's up fool? And then I fight. <laughs> Today's episode is brought to you by the new film, The Protege, which is why I, the master, am here with my protege. Me, the master, he's my protege. Right, maybe we ought to compare ranks. Just go ahead and break out your belts and we'll just see who, oh, how many stripes do you, I don't see any, uh, anybody see any stripes anywhere? The thing is, I brought my belt, but Todd's not here to put any stripes on him. Well, Todd can't promote you, so. Would that make him the grandmaster? That would make him my assistant to do the stuff I don't have time to do because I'm busy being a master. Sensei Bay and my protege. Anyway, watch the film. It's gonna be great. And here's an ad for the film that the studio made me insert into this video because this video is also an ad. But since they didn't actually put me in the movie, I'm just going to talk over it. So it's called The Protégé, starring Michael Keaton. You might remember him as the old Batman. Uh, Maggie Q and uh, Samuel L. Jackson, who likes to say Mother Trucker. It's in theaters August 20th. So there you go, Lionsgate. It's Nilly to be here, and I am back to show you a new technique from FMA. I am joined by who I've come to know as Nasty Nate. Hello. We're gonna go ahead and go into a technique. So with FMA, like I've explained before, it's not necessary to have a weapon. Yes, we deal with weapons, we master weapons. However, everything I do with a weapon can be done with empty hand as well. I'm gonna go ahead and demonstrate with the collie or the Arnie stick. If you don't have these, if you don't walk around with them, this could be a rolled up newspaper. It can be an umbrella on a rainy day or a sunny day, depending on when you carry it. But nonetheless, the technique is always the same. Now, when Nate is first coming in and trying to strike me, the first thing I wanna do, I wanna avoid a stick fight. I don't wanna have to fight with sticks, but if I have to, when he goes ahead and strikes me, I'm gonna go ahead and destroy what we call the fang of the snakes. I wanna go ahead and hit those knuckles because nine times out of 10, people are gonna want to release that weapon. They don't wanna hold on to it. So in reality, when he strikes again, I'm coming across right onto those knuckles. And then I run away. Now let's just say that doesn't work. And I wanna go ahead and go into a technique with Nate. When he gives me that strike, I'm giving a sweep block going across, coming around and zoning, grabbing at the weapon, and releasing his. Okay, I'll break that down for you nice and slow. So when he strikes again, I don't want to just do this because I'm going to walk right into that weapon. He strikes, I step around, striking him first, simultaneously coming around with a choke grab, and then pulling at that weapon. From here, you can bring them down or whatever else you decide to do. One last time, we're gonna break that down. He strikes, block and check. Second one, coming across at the temple or the face, onto the choke and the grab at the same time. Make sure to really grab what's holding onto that weapon, pull and release. And there's your technique. Thank you, nasty mate. All right, my number one problem with this FMA, which by the way, is not Filipino martial arts when it's in my dojo, it's phony martial arts, FMA is that she continues to stipulate that you can do this technique with anything. You can have a weapon. You don't need a weapon. Make up your mind, okay? If I'm gonna teach someone how to defend themselves with a can of soup, I'm gonna have a can of soup. Step two is I don't like all of this swinging, okay? Why? It makes your hands too busy. You need your tiger claws available at all times. So if he is facing off and about to hit me with a stick, first thing I'm gonna do with my stick is secure it in a place where I can use it but keep my hands free. I'm gonna be tucking it up in here, okay? In my pelvic area, okay? Doing a sort of cat stance kind of position here, bending the base leg to keep balance, okay? And now I have all of this that I can use to block. So as he comes in, I'm gonna move right inside, okay, the arc, pressing my face against the knuckles. If I get hit with the knuckles, I can take that shot. I don't wanna take it, this is, this is bad, okay? This is fine. And aligning here, the stick, okay? Notice how easily I can strike the groin just by pressing down 
on his knuckles, striking the groin. I can do it multiple times. Here, here, boom, 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 okay? As he then drops down, taking the stick from him, then if I want, if I have other attackers, now I've got some double stick techniques I can do, two groins at once. I can take on two groins at a time. And as always, restomp that groin. It's Nelly TV, your sensei babe, back yet again with Nasty Nate. Getting pretty nasty over here. And I'm gonna show you another technique within FMA Filipino martial arts, all right? So today I'm gonna to be going ahead and using my fan. This is my trusted fan that I use all the time on vacation. No one knows the difference. Now you're like, Nelita, how is this a weapon? Remember what I told you in FMA? Everything is a weapon. This is strong enough, made out of bamboo, I can do the same types of strikes. So Nasty Nate is gonna strike at me one more time. Boom, what is the first thing I wanna do? Destroy those knuckles, destroy the fang of the snakes, okay? But if I'm gonna go ahead and go forward with the technique, he strikes again, I'm gonna block and check. Always check that hand. From here, we're gonna do a technique called snake in the vine. I'm gonna bring this hand around, snaking the weapon. Now, if you've got the snake strong enough or good enough, you can go ahead and disarm from there, keep on going with both the stick and the fan. But if that person doesn't let go, again, he strikes. Block and check, snake in the vine from here. I'm gonna bring my fan around. I can strike to the solar plexus or to the stomach and then continue with other strikes. Abanico, if you wanna go ahead and hit that groin, you can as well. And then from here, using my forearm to disarm the weapon, and now I've got double weapon. I can go back on vacation again. Would you like to see that again, Nasty Nate? Only if um, after you hit me with the fan, you say you've been a bad boy, Raiden. Why did Ken set me up with this? Okay, let's go ahead into the technique again. Nate, if you could just strike, and that's all I needed to do. Nope. So he's gonna strike again. I go ahead, block and check, snake in the vine, come across, abanico, and then move on to the double stick. And I'm gonna go home and call for help. All right, my number one problem with this next weapon is that it is impractical for a variety of reasons. Number one, it sounds like a fart. Okay, listen to this. Oh, excuse me. Oh, pardon me. Oh, whoops. Okay. That's not going to allow you to move stealthily through your environment. So you're going to know that if you're going to use a fan, you're going to draw attention to yourself. So just use it. Okay. You see someone that might be potentially an attacker, you're like, I might as well fight him. So, oh, okay. That brings him into the fight. He comes up, he's mad that you're uh, supposedly spreading gas all over the place. Okay. First thing you want to do is dry out his vision. Okay. I'm going to actually use this on his eyeballs like so. Okay. See how that dries out his eyes? Now he can't see his target. Now, I'm going to be dropping down, leaving this open. These are generally made of paper, okay? I'm going to paper cut hit the tip of his groin here, just moving it up like this. Ah, slice ah, it, slice ah, it. Ah, and as he drops down, okay, ah, restomping the groin ah, and keeping myself cool until it's time to fart again. Ah. Nilly to be here again with the third technique from Filipino martial arts and we're gonna move on to some empty hand now, all right? So we're gonna be working on a technique called a gunting. Gunting is scissor, scissor in Tagalog or the Filipino language. So we're going to work on a scissoring technique with our hands, hands only. And I'm gonna demonstrate this exaggerated for you guys to understand. So let's say an opponent is coming at you with a strike, any type of strike when he's coming at me. I'm going to take my knuckles. I could either go at a horizontal angle or an upward angle into the muscle. So there's two things that's happening. One, I parry, making sure to get my face out the way as well, so you can slip and parry. And then two, that scissor motion of either going vertically or horizontally, okay? So that's a simple way or a simple version of doing it. If you wanna add this onto a technique, and let's say go further, you happen to have the technique down and the timing, when that person throws a strike, I'm working on a climb block here, down to the inside. I'm now thing with the elbow, coming around, into a takedown, so you can either knee, stump on the foot, or whatever you decide to do. I can take this technique further, but one last time. Up, into the elbow, around, knee, stump the groin, and you can even, if you like, swing it over the head and bring the right. I'm gonna leave nasty mate right there. <clears throat> All right, sorry, I was asleep for most of that last demonstration because I'm getting really bored, but I picked up on a couple of things that I want to point out. First one is gunting, 
Okay? She's actually saying the word wrong and uh, saying it with a different spelling or something. Guntin is actually a number between the number 15 and 16. Okay? Uh, they took it out because it was uh, messing up the calendars, but they used to have a number called Guntin in between those two numbers. Uh, and I can come up with Guntin number of things wrong with this technique, but it's a video that uh, it needs to be shorter, so we're going to jump right to the next thing. The next thing is the issue of scissoring. I heard her say scissoring. Uh, this is not scissoring, okay? The technique that I saw her do, this kind of action here, okay? That's not scissoring. Uh, mainly because scissors have to be longer. Okay? If you ever have those little fabric scissors and you try to cut a piece of paper with them, you can't do it. The little, the little tiny scissors, okay? So the shorter the scissors are, the less effective they are. My arm's gonna be too short to do a scissoring technique, right? He comes at me, what if I tried to just do scissors just with my fingers, look at this. See, it's not gonna work, okay? Come up to him in this way here. I'm gonna try to scissor him this way, okay? Just with the tips of my fingers. I'm fine. He doesn't hurt him, okay? Because my scissors are too short. If you're gonna do scissoring, you gotta do it with your legs, okay? So the thing that you need to make sure you do when he punches, okay? I'm gonna get underneath, then I'm going to move my legs into a scissoring position here on the groin. I'm going to slice and scissor his groin, scissoring him down, holding onto it. So I scissor, 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 okay? Then you can also use the tips of your scissors here. Just continue uh, uh, right? uh, scissoring. Uh, uh. And then also, the only time you do use your arms for scissoring is at the counterbalance. So as you are scissoring the groin, uh, uh, for your uh, arms, uh, uh, stay up uh, 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 for balance. Uh, uh, uh. Then as always, restomp the groin. All right, that was another episode of Master Ken's Privates. I'd like to thank Nalita B for coming on and showing us some of her BS. It's a V, it's a V. But what I really wanted to say is that you're welcome. Um, I'm sure you have a lot of techniques from FMA that you can now bring to Ameridote. You know, master, protege. No, she keeps getting it mixed up. It's, it's master, protege. It's very clear that you're the protege on this one. All right, well make sure to see the new film, The Protege, and if people want to learn more about you, they can... Go to NalitaV.com. Master, NalitaV. Since they fan. Go watch Protege. And if you want to see some real self-defense, stick with Sensei K. I'm Master Ken. Tune in next time for another episode of Master Ken's Privates. Bye. Us.